about a group of 10 boys, kind of these Oxford elites mm. in this kind of fraternity style club, the Riot Club. Yeah, it's about one of their kind of, their termly dinners where they kind of go to a pub and, you know, have a, have a, have a lovely dinner and then just completely trash the place. It's set over the course just of one evening uh, in a country pub in Oxfordshire. Um, and things get a little out of control, starting from quite um, humorous beginnings, gets very dark towards the end. I think what's brilliant about the play is that it's not a, a total parody of, of this type of person, and at the same time it's not kind of glorifying it. If, if you're going to do it properly, it's just shining a light on a, a mentality and the way these people think. It's written in a way that you still get snippets and you get introduced to each character as well. Because mm. the way everyone's kind of having their say, you quickly um, get an idea of how they're all different. We all have heard stories about this sort of club. And I think some people come in expecting to hate all the characters. And then it is really funny and there's actually quite a lot of humour, like I say, and like sympathy with them at the beginning. And yeah, you have to be completely taken in by these characters and then hate yourself for having done so by the end. It's a play that is so phenomenally written. It's clever, it has so many layers. Often we'll start a scene and try and kind of improvise it and realise that actually there's three people kind of talking over here, there's two over here and one person's just talking to himself. So it's just trying to get the, the conversation kind of flowing naturally has been probably the big thing we focused on. I'd say it's been great being able to run through the scenes working in twos and threes and smaller groups creating that atmosphere like working on that dynamic to make yeah. sure it's sort of it's pinpointed down to perfection so that when we do put it into the bigger group context it becomes a lot more um, a lot more hard hitting and a lot more accurate with what we're aiming for. A lot of them have like a mask of being very kind of composed and very nice but as soon as that kind of falls off instantly into the kind of very nasty vitriolic kind of uh, speeches, especially with like Alistair. We've been really lucky in that we have the chance to work with some really great people on our production team. People who have now graduated, who are working in London, who have recently graduated still at university, and to be able to form this, uh, this company Collective, of people yeah. who just have so many skills to offer. Um, and we're just so excited to pour it into this fantastic production. Posh, is, it's got quite a good balance between you know, good entertainment and kind of a bit of food for thought. Mm. So I think I, I would want people to come out of that saying that was a good play, you know, it's given me some stuff to think about. So I think it's a good thing that Posh is able to balance those two. Yeah. yeah. Also, the actors were just phenomenal yeah. in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs>